Hey guys, I was just, uh, I was just talking to a friend of mine. <clears throat> we were on his YouTube page and we were live and we were discussing some of the things that were going on and we found out that the AP poll is lying. And most of the polls that have Biden ahead in the election are lies. Don't believe them. They're all lies. They're lying to you so you'll get discouraged and you won't go vote. Today's election day. Get out there and do your part. Vote Trump. 2020. But anyway, guys, these uh, electoral, the select, these polls that are out there now predicting the winner, that ain't Biden. They got a Biden. I went, we went through and looked at all these polls. Every one of them had Biden ahead, even in blue states. It, it's a false narrative. It's to discourage people from going to vote. It's their last stitch effort to keep you from voting Trump so Biden can win the election. Guys, you got to get out there, do your part, election just today. Do your part. I ain't going to tell you who to vote for. You can vote whoever you want, but you need to go vote. And just to let you know, these po I just want to let you guys know, these polls are full of crap. They're lying. They're being caught up in it. You can go to the town hall and read their article on it. If you got a subscription to that page, go over and read it. They're all lying. The town hall polls show Trump leading. And if you go through, like, honest people, like bipartisan polls, they all have Trump winning. But the AP poll, Politico, uh, who else? Uh, CNN, all them polls, they have Trump losing. And Biden says that if the media tells him he won tonight, he's going to accept that. Even after they told Trump he couldn't. They told Trump if the media declared him a winner, that he could not get up and accept it until after all the votes were counted, mail-in votes and everything. But Biden's going to. They said Biden can, but Trump can't. They're, they are the crookedest damn people I have ever seen in my life. And if, if you're even a little Democrat, how could you follow this? How could you vote for this bullshit? You know, there's video out of uh, Kamala Harris. You can probably find it on Twitter. Um, promote Marxism. Communism. You know, th these people are going to rip America's heart out and turn it into a Marxist, communist, dictator country. And they say Trump's a dictator. If you heard Obama, Obama was on there saying Trump was a dictator because he was going to accept the or he was going to give his acceptance speech if the media said he won. And he called Trump a dictator. But the Biden campaign said he is going to, that Biden's going to do it if, it if the media declares him a winner. What the hell's up with that shit? Obama needs to go somewhere. He needs to be put in jail along with Joe Biden and all them other goonies. But anyway, guys, this is bull crap. We got to stand up for Trump. It's Trump 2020. He's got to win. I voted. Do your part. Go out and vote. Vote, vote your heart. Whoever you want to vote for, but just vote. Get it out there. Get it done. I hope it's 2020 Trump, but I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm not going to make you lean any way. You vote your heart.
If you think Biden's the better man, go vote for him. If you think Trump's the better pick, vote Trump. Either way, go vote. The only way to get something done. Also, guys, you got to pay attention to these. If you're a Trump supporter, <coughs> got dry throat again. If you're a Trump supporter, pay attention to these polls because it has Biden leading, but it's not true. There's no way Biden's leading in all these blue states. There's just too many blue states. So it's, I mean, they're just lying to you right out in the open, and they don't care. They don't care because they know there's some dummies out there that'll fall for it and not go vote. So don't be a dummy. Go vote. Go vote. Don't be their dummy. There's a lot going on in there today. You know, you got Biden stumbling around last night on his uh, final final stretch campaign or whatever you want to call it. Uh, wasn't very many people showed up to it. Then you got old Hitler Harris. I don't know if you've seen that or not. She got run out of Texas. Uh, there's a lot of that on Twitter. But if you watch the video of that, where <coughs> that's a truck supposedly was trying to crash into one of Hitler Harris's staff in their own car, that ain't true. That staff was trying to run that black truck off the road to get behind that bus. That truck wasn't having nothing to do with it. He wasn't letting that car in. That's right. He doesn't have to let that car in. But anyway, you should have seen, if you haven't seen that video, go look it up. These people were surrounding that bus of Biden's Trump supporters. You know, they went and they didn't have guns. They just had flags in the back of their trucks. They was escorting that bus out of town. They didn't want it in their town. And uh, Harris was scheduled to do a rally there. Well, it didn't happen. Didn't happen at all. And... I think it was funny myself. You know, these people, Hitler, Harris, and Biden think that they're the shit. They ain't nothing. Ain't nobody wants them except for these leftist dingbat snowflakes. That's the only ones that wants them. And the only reason they want them for handouts and the Black Lives Matter, white, my, uh, the Black Lives Matter want them for reparations. Because they're already talking reparations in the Biden committee if he gets in. So, yeah. So they, they, uh, Biden wants their vote, so he said he'd give them reparations. And Hitler Harris did that commercial. It was a commercial about equality. Well, it was more about communism than it was everything. So she said everybody should start at the same spot and end at the same spot. Listen, guys, that doesn't work in America. You work your way to the top. These guys out there that have these businesses and they make good money, they work for that, most of them. They work for that. Most of them are honest businessmen who work to get up there. Why should, say me, for instance, I don't think I should start where they start or end where they end with me not doing the work. Come on now. Jeez. That's communism. That's a dictatorship. That's Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. That's what you want? Vote for Joe Biden. Or... Kamala Harris, because she's going to be the real president. But if you want true leadership, and if you want true equality, vote Trump. Because you have, if with Trump, you have the opportunity to work your way up. Earn it. With Biden and Harris, they say that, but it ain't going to happen. Because they'll be the ones getting rich. 
while you're sitting there doing all the work. You'll never make it to the top with them because they'll take everything you have. They want to tax. If you make $450,000 a year, they want to tax your income 60%. 60%. You'll be broke. They are taking over half of your money. You'll be broke. You won't have a damn pot to piss in. You'll be back on the welfare line before you know it. Just where they want you. That's where they want you in their grip so they can control every, every aspect of your life. That's what you want. Go vote Biden and Harris. You want true freedom? You want to be able to earn your way to the top, have a fair chance? 2020 Trump, that's your only way. Trump, Trump Pence, that's your ticket right there. Anyway, guys, go do your part. Get out there and vote. Um, you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to leave a donation, we appreciate all donations. And we're not monetized. We don't get money for nothing. But anyway, yeah. And in the meantime, stay safe. Be blessed in Jesus' name.